In this video, I'm gonna give you the lowdown on one of the pieces of equipment that saw the most action in my garage. This is the Limar Etna Plus MIPS helmet and also the Limar Horus glasses. And they really pair well together. And if you hang on till the end, I'll give you a couple surprises about this helmet and these glasses that I didn't expect. All right, last year, this was the helmet that saw the most action in my garage because full coverage to the ear uh, really gave me that uh, security comfort protecting my ear and also my jawbone right here. Uh, so I liked it. And a couple weaknesses is it looked kind of big. This is the large and I could not fit the, the, the small medium. And also there was no retention system uh, on the back, you know, that little halo retention system. And finally, the visor was not adjustable. So it's, it was always like right there. Very good visor though. So this year, Limar asked me to try their new stuff. And Limar is a brand that we I've been familiar with. They're very high on road. They've been around since like 1983. And they come to, they rose to fame in the mountain biking world with Paula Pezzo sponsoring. I don't know if you know Paula Pezzo, that means you're old like me. But she was the glamor girl of uh, women's mountain bike racing way back when so really cool and now they're really making an effort to get back in the mountain biking scene and i think this is their their hallmark and they're really addressing it not just with road helmets with a lot of vents but really addressing what we need so this is an aggressive helmet for uh, aggressive trail riding and duo riding and e-biking so it's re it really fits the bill for me basically it's a little more more compact shell without being too big but very protective and full coverage on the ear this one has a really strong, uh, look at that, uh, ear, ear protection and, and nice padding. Two levels of padding, I think, is what they give you. They also give MIPS. And the MIPS they use these days is a lot better than before. Uh, it's not like two sheets of plastic that rub against each other that take up a lot of room. Uh, it's very space efficient. It's molded into the, the padding uh, that they use that you can remove. All right, let's get into the helmet. What's good about it? First, they have a visor that's adjustable and usable. A lot of helmets now have visors that are decorational. Uh, my theory is if you can't see the visor, it's useless, meaning it's not blocking the sun from your eyes. So here it is, it's big. When it's down, you can hardly tell that it's movable, right? It looks like, it looks just like this, right? But it is fully adjustable, so it gets, it gets out of the way. And you know when it's kind of, when you, uh, it's, it's kind of dark, you're in the single track, a lot of here, a lot in, the Sa in Santa Cruz. This actually helps, and it helps your ventilation as well. Second benefit, oh, and it's, it's got ratcheting, which is really cool, it's not just sliding on friction. So the other benefit is, Limar's always been famous for vents, a lot of vents, and it's not just the number of vents, but how big the vents are, and how well positioned they are. So, very good. This one was, I would get a little hot in this one, but this one, not an issue. Other good thing is it's got now a halo retention system, uh, really cool, with a wheel uh, and a lot of height adjustability, six levels of height adjustability. And the height adjustability not only gives you comfort, but it dictates how the, the helmet tilts on your head. All right, ear protection as well and kind of jaw protection, I like that. Uh, without being too big, this one is a little bit bigger. This one is a little more streamlined. You can see the, the padding is molded in to the side, to the ear protection. Uh, the other one is Fidlock. I don't know if you ever use Fidlock. Fidlock is a magnet system where you just kind of get it close and then boom, you're locked in. And to get it out, uh, you, uh, you just slide it out. Most of my friends who use Fidlock can't go back to any other system. Uh, this is so advanced, but I think they have to pay money for this. And the last benefit is it looks cool. This mustard color is so cool and it comes in five different colors. And I'll give you a surprise benefit that I didn't really expect, which is, you know, I do, I do a lot of solo riding and I like to use Apple AirPods, but th those things, the, the noise canceling one, those things, uh, they're awesome, you know, because it makes two hours go by, but you know, you, you, you also wanna be able to hear the traffic, right? So you don't necessarily wanna noise cancel unless you're sure that, uh, uh, you're out there in the uh, uh, with no with nothing unexpected. 
The problem with Apple AirPods is they generate a lot of noise because of wind. You know, how they're shaped, the batteries right there, it just boom. You can noise cancel it, but it's kind of a compromise. These things are kind of a shield for the, the wind, so it doesn't really make a lot of noise. And really, you don't have to put it, crank them up as loud because you're not really having to counter noise. So that's a, just a side benefit. If you use AirPods, and it's not for everybody, uh, having ear, uh, an ear protection actually helps that, uh, that issue. The other product I want to review is this one. This is the Limar Horus glasses. I didn't even know they made glasses, but you know, being in the Pro Tour, you know, you gotta participate uh, in, in, the, in the glasses game. It's very, it's kind of a hot issue right now because it defines the look of, uh, of these roadies. But for mountain bikers, remember when we all used uh, goggles? Uh, goggles was like the main thing. And it was, kinda, it was kinda cool for the dust and the wind, but really everything else, it sucked. <laughs> Because whenever you, you, went, you, you started climbing, it just fogged up. There was no amount of, of ventilation they could do to prevent that. Uh, and so and when it was hot, it was, just, uh, it was just very hot. The next advent of shades is goggle shades. So they, they wear like goggles, meaning you can't see them. And this is the greatest benefit of goggles. If you can't see your goggles, it doesn't become part of the ride. You know, it disappears into the ride. And with any equipment in, in mountain biking, I think that's the gold standard. And uh, so this does a very good job. I can't see the frame. It's just big enough without being too big. You, you, see, you, see, you see those folks with goggle shades. I, I'm guilty sometimes, but they're like this big. And they, they go to the, uh, the post ride or, or, to the, or they, they wear them in the street and they look like clowns. <laughs> big without being too big. And look at the holes right here. Very good. Uh, lots of ventilation, that's key. And then this changes color. I think so this is photochromic. Uh, the price on this is not bad. It's 100 bucks for the non-photochromic and I think 149 bucks for the photochromic. Uh, and then really a nice lens, really a nice piece of equipment, bendable arms. Uh, it merges well with their helmet because the, these has channels uh, for, the, for the arms. So I'll show you a lot of photos of me uh, riding it. This has become my favorite. And if your nose bridge is not standard issue, Western, uh, then they have an adjustable nose bridge. Uh, and there's their, there it is right here. Super adjustable, press them in, bend them any which way. Uh, and it's got a lot of padding in it. It's got a skeleton and a lot, a lot of padding. Some adjustable nose bridges, you know, after a while the, the wire just pops out. And then it's kind of rendered useless. So there you go, very sturdy, not the thinnest arms. I would say it would be the, um, the weakness, it might not play well with, with uh, some helmets that don't have a lot of space. Styling is good. They do have five or six different colors of this specific uh, glasses, the Horus. And then they have a bunch, they have four, four total glasses uh, that they've worked on. So Italian company, so they know their glass. They, uh, it hasn't scratched yet. I think that's the mark of a, a, good, a good glasses company. And the surprise that I have is two things. Uh, one is how dark it gets. I was out in the beach on a cloudy day and this thing turned dark because cloudy, cloudy with sun, it's kind of like snow, is when you, it gets maximum light from all angles and this thing turned black. But I've been night riding with this and it goes pretty much clear. Uh, I go like this and I go, oh wow, it's really, it's really that good. So there you go, Limar, uh, a company you might not be familiar with, especially if you're young in the mountain bike world, but they do know their equipment in the road world, and I think they're making a serious effort uh, in the U.S. with uh, with this mountain bike gear. Thanks a ton, everybody.